What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and yes, I want a turtle, so we're not hunting for tortugas, although it's pretty surprising. We still only have three. <laughs> uh, but we're going to do a PSA video, and look at this. We got a sick... Oh, Dragon's Majesty. No, no, no. Uh, inside, we have some base set unlimited PSA cards. So this is the box for, like, not bulk, but ones that I've not been able to complete the sets for. So let's take a look. Base set. Blast from the past, here we go. And oh boy, it's not just it's not just unlimited like I thought. Alright, we'll start with this stack. And actually we have another box as well. So here we go. Um, haven't gotten around to doing an 8 collection, and I think these are like the extra ones. So we do have a Hitmonchan PSA 8 back from 1999. Oh, this is so cool. I believe Hitmonchan came, you could have got them from a uh, deck, I think it was Nine Tails and Himachan, but uh, very cool card, very nostalgic. And I found out like much later, uh, this card is actually really good just because it can have a one energy for jab. And um, yeah, I guess that was that's how. <laughs> but when we talk about like power creep and stuff, you know, I feel like that says a lot. So Hitmonchan, oh man, here's the big boy right off the bat, or right second. We have Charizard himself from base set, the OG Charizard. And uh, yeah, I feel like it, one thing that really helped Charizard to its fame was just this base set one. The fact that it had so much HP. I think uh, Venusaur also had 120. But then it also did 100 damage compared to Venusaur's Solar Beam, which did only 60. Energy Burn is pretty cool too, just because you can use like a DCE or something. So, uh, you know, I feel like that flat one, that nice rounded 100 really helped Charizard get to where he is today. All right, now we have Magneton. I think this one was very underwhelming for it. something you evolve, and it's a hollow, 60 HP. Oh. <coughs> and then we have a Thunder Wave and then self-destruct. Anything where your Pokemon seppukus himself, uh, it's hard for me to get behind. But uh, Magneton, very nice. Ooh, okay, so this is my extra, so it's not even a PSA, going for a PSA collection. Uh, and here we have another Hitmonchan at 9. I believe Hitmon Chan is actually very hard to get 10. Although I'm not sure if that's limited to Unlimited, Shadowless, or First Edition. And uh, okay, we have very redundant <laughs> stuff. We have Magneton, PSA 9, one away from that gem mint. And I wonder if it's the centering. So you kind of look at the top and the bottom. I feel like there's more on the top. I don't really see any scratching. Um. Actually, on the back, I guess there's like very there's some nicks. So, um, if someone to make the case this was a generous nine, uh, it might not be wrong. I could get behind that. Here we have a Raichu nine, and if you look at the certain number, I think these are pretty graded quite a while ago. And Raichu, you know, another one that I feel like wasn't too crazy. Agility, just only 20 damage if you get heads, that's nice. And then Thunder, anything that does damage to yourself, especially when you don't have a lot of HP to start with. Uh, and for four energy, that you know, that don't think that was good enough. Here we have, I feel like, see, feel like centering is a big issue again, and there's probably like a little nicks in the corner again. And then, oh boy, shadowless. All right, so we're starting with the shadowless cards. This one is only a near mint seven, but uh, man, shadowless, such a cool set. You know, I feel like a lot of things. Um, most card games, or a lot of card games, have like this idea of unlimited and first edition. We'll take Yu-Gi-Oh for example. Although not that first edition doesn't make a huge difference in my opinion when it comes to value. Uh, at least for, nah, I guess for the older stuff I guess it does. I take that back. But uh, Pokemon has that unique thing of shadowless, which is kind of in between. So I feel like that's really cool. And I guess from what uh, people have spe said like, that unlimited just like so many print runs or not print runs but just so many printings of it so you know the the value of considering how old it is and how popular pokemon is like guys like unlimited base set cards psa cards are not that expensive and i do think that it's something that when it comes to like nostalgia everyone should have in their collection so uh you know if you haven't if you want to get into psa and you might be uh, intimidated by going right to base set, but if you start with unlimited, you know, PSA 7s and 8s, 
they're very affordable. I think you'll be surprised if you've never taken a look. So, uh, just a piece of advice. And here we have another Shadowless Polyrath PSA 8. So cool. So cool, we had to do it twice. Here we go. Polyrath again. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't remember how much these cost, but uh, they, I, bet, I bet you'd be surprised. And, yeah, this one is quite beat up. You can see a lot of edge wear. And so that kind of, you know, that PSA 6 is very uh, appropriate, if not generous. But very cool. So, like, if you're not familiar with Shadowless, the way I look at it is just here is very bright compared to... There, I mean, I guess this is... I guess, sure, the shadow. I just look at it darker over there. And right here, where it's, like, a lot lighter. That's how I determine Shadowless. And that's the Ninetales. All right, we really like Polyrath, I guess. <laughs> I'm guessing there's a PWCC auction and there's a bunch of Polyraths, uh, a large number of them, and uh, so I managed to get a bunch, uh, three of them at a very good price. Uh, Zapdos, oh, very good three. Um, doesn't look terrible. I wonder if there's just like a crease somewhere, or maybe there's just a lot of scratching. Let's see if we can see it. Hmm, I'm sure there's something that is there that makes it a three you know people can make mistakes but for that i doubt it's that big of a mistake all right this one is a heavy hitter uh shadow list nine psa nine gyarados is gyarados also in a deck i can't remember but very cool i did like gyarados 100 hp sure magic carp was terrible i think he just had flail and only 30 hp but dragon rage just for three water energy can go for 50 um, bubble beam you know if you have the extra energy you do a little less damage but you do have that chance for paralyze so such a good card and uh, love that art too oh man we got a lot of magnetons <laughs> something about that PSA here slot to or uh, grade and magneton just I guess it's just a good fit and uh, looks like we could see some damage Ooh, that's a good amount of damage uh, Again, maybe this 8 is generous. I wonder if we were to get this graded today. It would be a little bit harder to get that grade. Ooh, we do have a 9 as well. There's some big, big uh, heavy hitters. No, I'm pretty sure there's no 10s. That would have gone into a different box. But uh, PSA 9. And then our last one for this box is a excellent 5 for the 9 tail. So, yeah, for this... Uh, not again not bulk but kind of like extras not part of any root completed sets or anything these are uh, some good cards some high grades and then some low grades so it is a bit of a mix now we're going to go on to our second box oh nice all right face back facing forward all right let's take a look i think i know what this is but not 100 percent sure boom okay so oh nice don't think I showed the grade yet. So we have nine tails again, and it's unlimited. See right here is darker. And what is it? Boo! PSA 10. Did I already do a video on this? I'm, I'm hoping I didn't already do this. Apologies if this is a repeat. But so, how close are we to getting a 10 collection? Uh, we definitely don't have the Charizard. That thing goes for over a thousand dollars. But we do have the nine tails, and I wonder if I started out of order. This is where it begins. So that's 12, 13, we got, po of course we have Polyrath, we always have Polyrath. Unlimited 10, of course we have multiple Polyraths, another unlimited 10. Perfect, perfect card. Oh boy, I, I don't have a thing for Polyrath, I think I just, um, during a PWCC auction, I think I just kind of, I thought I was giving like a low ball bid and it turned out like they're actually uh the price was not as high as i thought it was going to be so i ended up picking up maybe i picked up all of them <laughs> was that our fourth polyrath four psa 10 polyraths uh zapdos psa 10 very nice so we went up to the last one 16 so yeah are you in need of a psa 10 polyrath <laughs> let me know maybe we can work out some kind of trade or zapdos for that matter because we have three of them. <laughs> All right, so we're pretty good in the Zapdos direction. And uh, I'm guessing that this is the back end because we started at 12. So this is probably starting at the beginning. Do we have the first one? Oh yeah, Alakazam. Not a great card. Stage two, only eight HP. Damage swap is pretty cool though. 
as often as you like during your turn before your attack you may move one damage counter from your pokemon to another one as you would like so i don't know if, oh chancy's the another one that has um 120 so maybe you can just move some damage to her or something but uh alexan we do have number one psa 10 and we got two of them <laughs> so yeah uh not doing very good on like finishing this set but the ones i do have apparently i go pretty hard on them gyarados psa 10 gem mint love it love it twice oh yeah of course you got the magneton how many magnetons are we, are we gonna have of gem mint oh look at this like uh did the card shift inside the thing like it definitely moved it doesn't look like it's touching any edges but i wonder if this should be sent in to like kind of get recapsulated i'm pretty sure they wouldn't change the grade something to look into if you know if that's doable let me know in a comment down below i still have yet to submit anything to psa i bought all these secondhand or in the secondary market mewtwo Kind of a distant car disappointing card, not gonna lie. 60 HP, you know, number 150 himself. Just, uh, you know, arguably the strongest Pokemon. Maybe not arguably, but Psychic 10 damage plus 10 more for each energy attached to the defending Pokemon. And then Barrier, remove an energy and prevent all damage next turn. I'm not sure about why you would do that. And then Nido King, PSA 10, another one that he was in the set. I don't think he's very popular or anything which allowed me to get two of them <laughs> uh so yeah we got a that's our not extra but base set cards that we've yet to complete collections of and uh yeah i'm really hoping i haven't done this video already if i did i apologize but um yeah i just be, happened to be cleaning up and noticed these so thought that was really cool i want to share with you guys before i kind of put it stash it away after i finish organizing everything uh but that's it for today um yeah let me know what your thoughts are you know have you delved into psa what are your thoughts about the base set my own thoughts are especially for unlimited surprisingly affordable considering how old it is and for anyone that you know had experience like for me it's just so worth it especially at that surprisingly low price for all the nostalgia that comes with those cards so um let me know what your thoughts are thanks for watching guys as always I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.